What's up everybody, Tindo here. And you might notice three things. One, we're bundled up. Two, it's dark outside. And three, I've got Ikea bags. You know what that means? It means we're going to yard sales today. So let's go. And then a large half sweet tea, half unsweet tea. You know what, as far as I'm concerned, McDonald's is the only fuel for garage sales. That's a hundred years of my life. My grandmother would wake us up five, six, seven o'clock. We'd go through the McDonald's drive-thru. We'd get a biscuit. <laughs> it's a good question. I don't, know, I don't think I ever thought about it. Yep, thank you very much. All right, we have biscuits. Now we gotta go find some yard sales. So here's the plan for today. We're gonna go to a few yard sales, not quite as many as I would like to, but we're gonna see how many we can squeeze in before nine o'clock because nine o'clock is what time that Goodwill opens. And today, as well as being yard sale day, also happens to be half off Saturday at Goodwill. And there are a couple different Goodwills in town that we have scoped out some stuff that we've wanted at waiting for half off day to come so as soon as we get done with yard sales today hannah and i are actually going to split up and she's going to go to one goodwill and then i'm going to go to another and we're trying to get our hands on the biggest stack of star wars books you've ever seen so i'm glad we're going to get to some yard sales but seriously today's really going to end up being all about the star wars books how many can we come home with and then in addition to that how many random bits of nonsense can we come home from the yard sales with so stick around to find out all right first sale of the day to be honest from the car it doesn't look that uh promising but this is what it's all about let's go find stuff let's do it It says it still works. Let's trust it. I'm gonna, it works. I yeah. can plug it in for you. Uh, yeah, do that. I'll, I think I'll take it. <laughs> nice. Obviously, oh, it's not. Yeah. Set up for any channel with a little bit. might be worth it, uh, the according wordish. But it doesn't have a lid, so. Mm. Here you go. Excellent. I'll let you grab it there. Thank you very much. I'm stoked it has the remote with it. Have a good one. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm good with this one. Thanks thinking I'm gonna eventually have to do something about how little room I have in my game room. And maybe that giant CRT might be one of the things that has to change. And if it is, here's a nice little one. Has a lot of adjustable settings. This is gonna have a lot of retro games played on it. Now, let me be clear, I don't wanna get rid of my giant CRT, but I might have to move it out of the game room somewhere else because there's just not, it's taking up so much room. I could put three bookshelves where my giant CRT is. I can hang this off the wall somewhere. I actually have one of those old wall mounts for CRT TVs. This might get suspended from the wall. That'd be pretty cool. And it has the original remote. It's missing its back. That's all right. This is hilarious. Channel list. <laughs> you know what? First stop of the day too. Someone immediately was like, what's this? I was like, oh, it's a thing for my phone. I wasn't going to tell them. There's a microphone, because that would be weird. So I'll tell you, there's something about this garage that we got to talk about that kind of ties into a lot of what we talked about last week on the yard selling episode we did. And it's kind of a frustrating thing about uh, yard sales. If you look at all the things that yard sell, you can see they were clearly set up in the garage for reselling. There's a lot of things that they have that are 
brand new and still wrapped up. You can tell their garage was set up in a way where they pretty much just open it on weekends and have a yard sale as often as they like. So they're resellers, they're set up for this, and that's almost exactly the yard sale that I'll always go to and never buy anything. But sometimes you gotta go anyways because they finally decided to sell their old CRT this time, so I got it for a steal for five bucks, and it's one I really, really want. So what, what do you do? Do you go to the resellers? Do you not? Kind of interested in what you guys do down in the comments below. Do you try to avoid the resellers? Do you only go occasionally? That's kind of what I do. When I recognize that people are resellers, like when I see these guys on the map next week, I won't come back then. I might come back once next season just to check them out, something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad I stopped. And honestly, one of my best stops last week was resellers. But all this information that I'm sharing and discussing with you is also quite confusing because where I'm from, where I grew up doing yard sales, it's really different. It's, it's, it's a lot different than it is here. So we're still getting used to going to yard sales in this city. We're still getting used to what reselling looks like. And we're still getting used to what just, you know, mom and pops getting rid of their kids' video games looks like. But there's a lot of yard sales in this area, so let's keep moving. But if all else fails today, I got a nice new CRT for the game room. So I'm excited about that. All right, here is stop number two. Let's go find something. There's nothing here, let's keep moving. All right, number three, will we have any luck this time? This one gets points just for the car and the mailbox. Lots of DVDs, fortunately no games. <laughs> it's pretty cold. I right, have a good one. All right, that's not it, let's keep moving. Next up, let's go. Nice little bookshelf. Ooh, VHS. Star Trek VHS. Like I got your TV ready. Well, I figure I'm gonna sell it, so. <laughs> All right, looks like besides the TV, we're gonna strike out at yard sales today. At least we got the TV at the first one, but uh, these Star Wars books I wanna go get at the thrift are just too important, so <sighs> maybe come back next week for some more. Yard sards. Yard sards. All right, so we're pulling back in the apartment complex. We're both going to separate Goodwills. Hannah has just about enough time to get there before open. I'll be really lucky to get there before I'm open, but we gotta go anyways. No time to talk to you because mm, bye. bye. Go, 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 go. Bring me back much Star Wars books. Bye bye. Seriously, I have, I think the GPS says it's uh, 20 minutes away and I've got about 18 minutes before they open. So I might pull it off, but also there might not be any worry. Uh, there might not be anyone showing up to these Goodwills to buy these Star Wars books. But I, I don't know. I know there are a lot of resellers here in town that do specifically books. I know a lot of them. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone's going to show up and buy all the Star Wars books before I even get there. Maybe not. But at any rate, Hannah and I are both playing it smart. You might have just noticed she got out of the car with an Ikea bag. I have one here ready for me. So maybe if we do show up when the door is rushed and people are running to the books, I might get there first because a lot of people that are going there to buy a massive amount of books, they might run for a cart first, which is gonna take 30 seconds off their clock. So maybe the Ikea bag will save us today. That Ikea bag saves me quite often. If you do a lot of thrift shopping, if you do a lot of yard sale, I heavily suggest you put two or three Ikea bags in your car and keep them there. I keep a few stashed in this van and they save my butt all the time, but we'll see if they save me today. I'll see you at Goodwill. So it is crunch time. I have exactly 10 minutes to get there and I have, I think 11 minutes on the GPS. So I am gonna be maybe one minute late, but I am being caught up right now by a train. It's been going on forever and I'm just sitting here and time is just rolling on by. So, <sighs> Look, it's Hannah. <laughs> we pulled out separate sizes of the parking lot at the exact same time. All right, so the arrival time is 9.04 and if that's right on the money, we might be just a few minutes too late to pull this off. But I'm not gonna speed. I do not condone that behavior. But I do know that uh, GPS's, Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, they can all be just a little bit tricky. 
and they'll tell you that you're gonna arrive a few minutes later than you actually will so when you're early and you get there you get that little hit of dopamine and you're a little bit excited so it might work out we might get there just on time but again I just can't imagine there's a dozen people waiting to rush those Star Wars books I bet worst case scenario somebody beats me to them and grabs a few they want and then I get the leftovers which is fine because I'm just trying to come home with fat stacks of Star Wars books today okay I just want one fat stack all right we are cruising down the road again I'm flowing through traffic pretty well which is very good because I have three minutes left to get there and I'm maybe like four minutes away so we might be a little bit late but it's okay we'll be there pretty darn close I actually have frequented this Goodwill a lot um, Dallas and I used to live right next to it so we went there a ton and we're pretty familiar with it the books that we saw that I'm going to get are right against the window so I'm hoping that I can kind of just like weasel my way through the line um, right out the like right into the door and just zip on over there grab the books I've got an Ikea bag all set so I don't even have to get a cart and then we're just gonna throw them all in the bag and then move on through the Goodwill and see what else is in there I'm very excited this is a mission so I'm about five miles away and my ETA has not changed any and it sounds like Hannah's not doing any better on time than I am but uh, I don't know I really thought she had more time to get there than I did, but even if not, I don't have quite as much faith in the books being at that Goodwill than I do the ones at the Goodwill I'm going to because today's Saturday as I'm shooting this and the books that she's going to get we saw on Monday. So they've had a lot longer for other people to buy them. The books that I saw were on Thursday. So they've only been there for a couple days I think I've got a better chance of getting a big bunch but I don't know I could be grossly mistaking this and the truth really be that nobody else in this town gives a crap about Star Wars books I mean because they're all legends Star Wars books which means they happened before the Disney buyout uh, and a lot of people just don't care about them so I'm probably worrying for nothing we're probably gonna come home with like a hundred Star Wars books but let's go find out it's official I'm late it is exactly nine o'clock and it is right there i am pulling up to the goodwill right now i see the hardys that it's next to and hopefully they haven't opened the doors yet maybe they're a little bit not on time ah. there it is we're here people are still lined up we're good we just gotta park they're opening the doors <sighs> gotta park, gotta park, gotta park, gotta park. Oh, good. They haven't opened the doors yet. We did it, folks. There's a lot of people here. Holy crow. It is 9.01 on the counter. We are here. We are rolling up. Gotta stuff everything in my purse. Grab my IKEA bag. Let's roll. I'm telling you, I don't think I'm the only one. I swear there's like five or six trucks pulling in right in front of me. And there are tons and tons and tons of cars in the parking lot already. Does not seem to be a line out front, so the people have already went in. I gotta park real quick and get out of here. Gotta make a run for it. I'm not gonna mess with parking close, I'm gonna park in the back. All right, here we go. All right, Ikea bag, check. Camera, check. Star Wars books, we'll see. All right, they haven't opened the doors yet. We are on time, but there is a huge mongoloid line, holy crow. I'm gonna be in the back of that line, last one in the door. Well, let's cheat a little bit. No, don't. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is doing it. Let's just fall in line here. <laughs> Looks like nobody's running over to the books, so I think we're in luck. Great book 
So whenever they were here, whenever we were here last, Dal said that the books were over here. Let's see if I can find them. There's a Star Wars book. Second show. Where are they? Shoot. I don't see them. Did somebody grab them already? Maybe there was some Star Wars fan that was just like, yeah, not waiting for half off Saturday for these. Um, I'm not gonna give up yet though. I found one that's hopeful. Let's see. I feel a little bit calm that nobody else is over at the books. So we've got a little time to look. Yep, I'm a crazy person. Absolutely nobody cared. Hannah didn't fare so well. She said, I found two. I think someone cleaned them out. All right, well, I'm out of breath. Whew. Now we got to kind of look all over and make sure there's not extras tucked in. But look at this. keep looking in the back half of it, but Dallas said it was definitely against the window. I'm feeling a little sad. I think they might be gone, which is a real big bummer. But I did get one of them for sure. This is Attack of the Clones. That one looks pretty cool. All right, this Goodwill just keeps on giving. That is one of the very few of these Guinness World Record gaming books that I don't have. Sweet. It's only gonna cost me a dollar. All right, I think I might have found all the hardback ones I'm gonna find. Let's look through the softbound ones. You said there were a couple of them here that were softbound. <sighs> we'll see. I'm kind of bummed out that they might not be here anymore. I don't think that they'd be in any other section. So they're probably just not here anymore. I did grab another one. This is Jedi Trial Clone Wars novel. Pretty cool. There were no video games in the media section, but there is Donkey Kong Country Returns with the manual. It's 20 bucks, so $10 a day. If it's $10 for both of those, I think we're in business. Can I see this Donkey Kong and gaming manual? Oh yeah, man. Sweet. <laughs> so it is $20 for both of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. And I'm gonna go ahead and check out now. Oh, you are? Yeah. All right, for those of you who in the comments section below are already typing saying, Hannah, you're, you're missing them, they're on the top. I found them. I have found the Star Wars books. They're gonna be $2 a piece today. It's not bad, I wish they were a dollar, but for hardbound books, that's not bad at all. I'm gonna grab them and we have a collection of seven Star Wars books for the day. I know we got a whole bunch of uh, Star Wars t-shirts in. As well, somebody Do was we? collecting them. Yeah. Yeah, I know there was an Empire Strikes Back. And, uh, oh my God. So, I was looking through the softbound section because Dallas was like, "Yeah, there's a few softbounds there that are pretty scattered around. You'll have to look pretty hard for them." Um, that was true for the hardbound books but not the soft pound books. Oh my God, there's two rows of them. Holy crow. Oh wow. Okay. All right, I ended up with a big bag of books that went way better than I thought it would. And that Donkey Kong game was a huge, huge bonus to my day. So I can't wait to get home and see how Hannah did. You probably already know, but uh, I can't wait to find out. Do you wanna know what all the Star Wars books in the world look like? Oh my God. What? That's a full bag, I don't know if I can carry it. I need a cart. 
So I was just going to quit while I was ahead after that huge score and go straight home and call it done. But I noticed that this thrift store that I don't think we've ever been to on the channel has their half off day today. So Vans Part, new thrift store. Let's do it. Found a bin of video games. Reckless. Be $1.50. Do I want $3.50 Wii Fits? I mean, I want them, but I've spent enough today, so let's just buy the good stuff. We're not three. I've already got most of this. All right, there's one Xbox game that I'll come back and grab if I find anything else, but I'm not waiting in line for just that. All right, time to prove my muscle strength. It's really heavy. What? Oh my God, where's the cart? Right here. Shoot. Hmm. Five bucks. All right, I have found a cart for all my books. Now I'm going over to the dishes section. I'm gonna fly through the jeans section. And we're gonna get out of here because this is a madhouse. I am very stressed. <laughs> you got a car full of books though? <laughs> the bag's full. That's funny. Alright, well, I'll call you back. I'll call you back in a second. Let me check out. Yeah. It could they always they always can be, but if you have full sets of wooden clubs, it'd be yes ma'am. Okay. But it's 50% off, right? Yeah. But in order to use a car, has to purchase $5 or more. So do you just want to buy the club for $5? Now let me go buy a video game. Okay. Did you hear that? We've got some debit card voodoo going on, so I have to purchase some video games now, or I have to pay full price. So there's some interesting things in the dish section. There is a little set of blue cornflower corningware. <laughs> None of it has its lids though, and I have made a hard fast rule that if it doesn't have its lids, I am not gonna bother with it. This is like a no name corningware. It's also corningware, but doesn't have any pattern on it. Didn't know that that existed. Um, but yeah, hard fast rule if it doesn't have its lids, I'm not getting it. That is that. So we're gonna pass on those. Oh, and look, I'm on my way to the video games. What do we have here? Star Wars book. I guess books are a standard price because there's not a price tag on it. I'll just get that game I was gonna get anyways. It's still here. Yeah, I'll get that. I'm going through the cookware section with all the like pots and pans and spotted a door the Explorer cake pan. That's funny. Yeah, so you owe me six dollars, please. Awesome. Oh, okay, go ahead. Do you want this in the bag? I'll just carry it out, thank you. you I don't need a bag, I'll just no, carry it out. Thank okay. you, though. It's a key card. Receipt? No, ma'am. Okay, have yourself a great day. You too. So half off days at Goodwill and at Savers are an absolute madhouse. So there's just a bazillion people in here. They all have carts and we're all trying to navigate through these tiny little spaces. And currently I'm just stuck by the dishes right now because I can't get through anywhere. But I personally am used to dealing with a lot of people because of the Goodwill Clearance Center. But the thing about the Clearance Center that makes it a little bit more manageable is that I'm able to like park my cart somewhere and just run over the stuff that I need into my cart and then just like navigate through the people by myself and I really wish I could do that right now like just park this cart somewhere and just go zip through the Goodwill like I normally do so that I can get it on about my day a little bit faster but that's just not an option right now and so we're just gonna be patient and navigate through people because there are people everywhere all right so here we go all things good, video game, one Star Wars book, and a wooden golf club for my brother. My favorite part of the day is about to be sending my brother a picture of this golf club because I'm actually going home real soon, and every time I go home, I bring him a few new ones, and uh, this one's just gonna go in the pile of ones I'm about to take home to him. All right, we are carting the heaviest stack of books I've held in a while. 
rolling them on out to the car. That was a hundred dollar haul. How about that? All right, guys, we're back in the game room, and look, I bought a little CRT. It's not a Sony PVM, but it is a nice size CRT with some adjustable settings. But as you can see here, today went all right. We got so many books. Hella Star Wars books is what we got today. <laughs> so I actually sat here and counted them right before we started, and I got 39 books. So these are all mine right here. How many did you get? Well, I counted mine too. How many do you think are here? Well, it's at least double mine, so at least 30, or at least 60. Yes. I got 67 Star Wars books from one Goodwill. That's just, wild. Just the one. Well, it's really funny, too, because I got a text while we were shooting today's episode, while we were separated, and she's like, oh, this is not going to go so well. I'm not seeing any. But they were all just, like, spread out. Yeah, so I walked in, and I went exactly to the place that you told me that they were going to be, and so yeah. I went... And I looked, and I looked, and I found one, and I was like, sweet. Looked and looked, found two. Great. And then I was like, I don't see any more. I don't know what to do. And then I, like, looked, and I found a few more on the top shelf, and then went around the corner to the paperbacks, and lo and behold. All of these. A shrine to Star Wars. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot. And there's <laughs> not a ton of duplicates here, too, so we, we got pretty lucky. I want you to eyeball this set right here. I've actually set them kind of aside. It's the whole entire series. It's a 14 or 15 book series called Star Wars, The Young Jedi Knights. I'm, I talked about it on the channel a little bit the other day. Uh, we were able to complete the set today. They're all here, every single one of them, and it's actually uh, a series Hannah and I are gonna read together. Uh, we've got some travel coming up we're gonna do, so we'll probably do a thing where I drive and Hannah reads some of them while we drive, or you know, we pull over and sleep maybe. We'll read a little together. Something we've liked to do in the past. Haven't been doing a lot lately, but this is a series we're going to start with. So I'm actually going to keep that series. And I think we're going to resell the rest of these uh, in a couple different ways. Uh, one of the ways we're going to try to resell them, we're going to talk about coming up. We've kind of been alluding to the fact that we're going to travel soon. And we're going to do some special reselling when we start to travel. But that's not something we're talking about today. We'll announce that on a video that's coming up. We've got a lot to talk about in terms of that. But... We might try to list some of these complete sets on eBay because some of them go for a little bit. So, you know, we're, we're just going to triple, maybe quadruple our money because we spent a dollar or less for almost all of them. So, it's not bad. It, you know, it's not bad for 100 books. And uh, what I think we'll do in the future is we'll keep buying them up like this and reselling them and just kind of making quick cash off of them, if you will. Uh, and then as we finish a series, we'll just, we'll find the next series that we're going to buy and we'll keep that. And then maybe over time, we'll slowly build this collection, uh, which will be fine. That'll, that'll be more sensible because don't get me wrong. We could probably complete, complete the whole Star Wars Legends collection if we wanted to at this rate pretty quickly. <laughs> like in a week. <laughs> yeah. In a week or two. I mean, I know there's a lot of them. Don't get me wrong. We're aware how many there are, but, uh. We bought a lot today, and there's some there's some good ones in here I want to read, so there's some of them I'm almost hoping don't sell quick so we can read them next, but they're the ones that will probably sell the quickest. Yeah, these hardbound books are beautiful. They're really pretty. Yeah, my brother's actually been reading this series. Uh, he says it's really good, these red, yellow, blue ones. But yeah, uh, it's been fun, though, shopping for these Star Wars books. The last few episodes, we've had tons of people comment and uh, share their history of reading the Star Wars books. books. I've had tons of suggestions and there's one series in here that several people have suggested so maybe it'll be the one we move on to next but hannah I, hannah hasn't read any star wars books so this is all kind of new to her but like there's a huge timeline all of these go on so they didn't okay. necessarily get written in a certain order nor is it necessary to watch them in a certain order honestly just like the movies which people might argue you should or shouldn't watch them in certain orders but People watch them in different orders, and these books, a lot of people suggest you read them on this timeline. So I don't know if we'll do that or not, because you know we're starting way out of order, starting with Jedi Knights, because that happens well after the, the movies take place, hmm. or well, well after the original trilogy. But today is definitely some sort of Star Wars episode, I guess, because uh, we bought hella Star Wars books. You want to know something kind of funny? What? So the Goodwills in, our, in Phoenix do spray a very specific perfume so that each mm -hmm. one you walk into smells like a Goodwill. These smell like a library Goodwill. 
It, it's yeah. very weird. Well, because it smells like books and the Goodwill. It just perfume. like soaks that perfume in. <laughs> yeah, they really do. There's canisters in every Goodwill here in town that that sprays this weird juice, and they all smell the same. But yeah, so that's all of that that we got today. I did buy some video games and a couple things I'm really excited about. I didn't even tell you this. I bought the golf club, which I didn't bring in from the car, but you guys saw the golf club if you watched all the way through. Uh, but that thrift store, I don't even know how to tell you which one it is. We've been there before, but we've never been there on the channel. And they have one of those policies where you have to spend five bucks or you can't use a debit card. So mm. uh, the golf club I bought was five bucks. So they were like, well, you just pay full price for it. I was like, no, I'll go buy some video games. So I got Xbox 25 to life complete, a game I don't have. And then Platinum Hits edition for the original Xbox for Reckless. The Yakuza Missions. I guess if you know anything about either of these games, if you think I should play them, let me know in the comments below. And let me know why. Maybe I'll give them a shot. But I, I only picked those up because... I want to actually, I, I got it for the same price as I would have just paid full price for the club. And then I got Guinness World Records 2012 Gamers Edition. I'm so close to completing this collection. I got to put them all together and check, but I think I'm missing one or two now. So, Sweet. super happy for that. And then the best oh. thing, didn't even tell you about this, did I? No! And I honestly didn't even check if it was complete. Yeah, there's the manual. That is the biggest manual I've ever seen in the game. It is Donkey Kong Country Returns, something Hannah and I will very gladly play together. Matter of fact, we might play it tonight when we're done, done with this and done with our work. But it came with a manual. Look at this price tag. So oh, I got wow. it for 10 bucks, which That's is great. It was an extra great find because I only have this game loose. Uh, I have a disc of it. So now I have it complete, ready to go. Gamer manual intact, and the gamer manual like has all the levels in it. I don't. I, this is strange. I can't wait to get into it. That's amazing. I am a diehard platformer fan, and this is just this tickles my fancy. So that was fine of the day for me, despite the fact that we bought six hundred Star Wars books. What about you? Um, we bought some Star Wars books, and that's <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I almost felt like it's, I mean, don't, like I said earlier, don't get me wrong, we're gonna like resell these and make a few bucks and stuff, but uh, I also kind of only did it for the memes. Cause yeah. look, at, look at this picture right here. This looks about as ridiculous as I think we could look. I'm <laughs> hidden. Yeah, this is, let's make our screenshot real quick. What should it be, this or this? All right, so that's everything that we got today. I know the yard sales didn't go as smoothly as they did last week. Last week when we went to yard sales, we lucked out twice in a row and ended up at rummage sales and didn't even mean to. And this week we actually looked for rummage sales and there weren't any. So that's kind of a bummer, but uh, that's just how yard sales go. It's always going to be random. I mean, we plan on going uh, a few more weekends before yard sale season here in Phoenix is over. It's a little bit different probably from where you're at because basically our winter and summer's are somewhat reversed in a weird way. So uh, we'll, we'll see how many more times we can get yard sales in before the year's over. But uh, it'd be nice to find some more Star Wars books at yard Because <laughs> they'd probably be even cheaper. We'd probably be paying like yeah, a quarter. Yeah, a quarter a piece probably. But yeah, you guys comment below before we go and let us know what your favorite thing we got today was. Is it the Hello Star Wars books or is it Donkey Kong? Because that's pretty much your only mm. choices, really. I mean, I'd be surprised if you're going to pick 25 to life over those two, but maybe you will. And that's why we have the comment section. But guys, thank you so much for watching. A few of you have uh, messaged and asked why we didn't end up streaming yesterday because we had announced we're streaming gameplays on Saturdays. Saturday was a bad choice. It was the wrong day to pick. We messed up. So we're going to we're gonna figure it out and reschedule a different day of the week to do a regular gaming stream earlier in the day. Uh, and we want to do those earlier in the day because we stream our podcast late at night on Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Definitely write that down so you can come hang out with us this Tuesday because it's going to be good. Um, but our gaming stream, we got to figure it out. We made a mistake. Saturday's no good. It's because, you know, yard selling and all this stuff, this took way too long and it was just impossible to stream. So we'll not be streaming games on Saturday. But uh, I do appreciate the concern. We got a lot of messages and stuff asking why we hadn't done it. So I'm glad some of you guys were excited for it. And, uh, I'm so sorry to bring shame to the dojo and to let you down. But uh, also, before you go, guys, please do hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to us. All we want to do is get to 2,000 subs, like, right now. So if everybody watching could hit the sub button, we'd appreciate it. Also, join our Discord, please. The link is below. It is a place where we just have a community chat. 
And to be honest with you, Saturdays are our busiest days of the week. So I was basically unable to check it all day. And I got back and there was like a thousand messages waiting. Not like messages to me, but community chat. You know, people talking about stuff. People showing off their pickups from garage sales today. It was pretty awesome. Our Discord is a really lit and quickly growing place. So definitely go join it if you haven't yet. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of people, not a ton, but there's a few people that joined when we first started it that haven't been back in a little while. Come back by. We've really got it lined out over there. And there's lots of good people over there these days chatting and sharing what they're finding. So everybody, Discord, now, go, go. And then the last thing that I guess I could ask of you now that we've asked all this other stuff, please hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button if you are subscribed because then you'll get notifications straight to you whenever we post a video in the future. We may go garage selling, notification. We may podcast, notification. We may do live gaming streams, notification. We may buy super hella double this number of Star Wars books next time. And if you've hit that bell, you will get a notification that we posted that video and you can come back then and hang out with us then. Until then guys, peace out.